Hey folks, welcome to Dave's Kitchen and today we're going to do like uh, smoked pork belly tacos. And uh, well I know pork belly is not easy to find but uh, I get it from this one place, uh, Highland Country Markets. And uh, they've got all the meat that you can get, that you can think of. They got everything there. These guys are great. So. Uh, we're going to smoke it. It's probably going to take three to four hours and uh, we're going to do the rub, put it on and let it go. Let's get started. All right, folks. Now, I know I got a lot of spices in front of me and I know what I've said, but this is a rub. So this is a little bit different. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've already pre-cut the... Um, pork belly because you got to cut the skin you got to make like all these little cuts in it so that everything goes down so I'm just going to take just a little bit of oil you know avocado oil and uh, I'm just going to make it so that the spices stick that's all you know nothing nothing major just so the spices stick Okay, so all right, we got it all rubbed, and uh, now we're gonna put on the rub, and uh, we're gonna make it right now. Okay, folks, the uh, the smoker's smoking. Okay, so first we're gonna start with some brown sugar, and. I'm actually using like uh, dark brown sugar. I mean, you can use light brown sugar, no big deal. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna add like uh, probably an extra one or two little spices uh, to it, but that's not gonna, it's just gonna make it taste better. Okay, so I've got uh, two tablespoons of salt and a couple teaspoons cracked black pepper and I got uh, half a teaspoon of cumin and I got uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder two teaspoons of onion powder I know it sounds like a lot uh, ground mustard I've got like one teaspoon Okay, and I've got like uh, probably two teaspoons of um, smoked paprika. I got a half a teaspoon of chipotle chili powder. And I've got uh, probably about a half a teaspoon of cayenne. Okay, there's our rub. Okay, so all you got to do is break it up and by now the brown sugar is going to take a, a little bit to break it up. But once you break it up, uh, all you got to do is blend it all together. Okay, so I got both here. I've got like this, uh, whatever you call this thing, this mixer. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the pork belly and let it go. And whatever's left, uh, you know what, just uh, there's not going to be much left. But whatever's left, uh, seal it tight in a container with a lid and um, you can keep it for the next time. Okay, so we're going to do this side first. And just load it on. Okay, it's not going to hurt it. Nothing like that. Just load it on. Okay, make sure that you got the ends, everything else. Load it on. Okay, so turn it over and just pour it on. The heck with it. 
just pour it on and just rub it all in and make sure that uh, everything's coated make sure that uh, because the top it's got this skin so the skin uh, that's why I I scored it because the skin is gonna kind of prevent some of the rub some of the stuff from going in but uh, as long as you score it and put a little bit on there to make it stick that's gonna be fine okay so next thing we're gonna do put it on the smoker let's go okay folks I got the smoker going and we're gonna put it on Okay, I got it at about uh, 250, about 250, um, and it's going to take about uh, three, four hours. What you got to do is bring it up to a temperature of like, I don't know, like about 150 thereabouts or so. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it, and I'm going to put a little bit of... Uh, apple cider vinegar and apple juice in it wrap it tight for the last hour and uh, it's going to be ready to go right now i've got a mixture of apple wood and hickory smoking and uh, there is a liquid container underneath and i've got uh, a little bit of water and apple cider vinegar in there Okay, that's going to try and keep it moist. So about every 45 minutes or so when I go to change the chips, I'm going to spray it with apple juice. And that's going to keep it moist. And it might look black when it comes out. Uh, but don't worry about it. That's the outside. Okay, we're eating like the meat part. And uh, we're going to get there. Okay, hey folks, it's been about, uh, well, about three and a half hours. So it's got a little bit more time to go. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to make like a little post here. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of wrap it up and put it back in for about, uh, uh, probably about another hour. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in with it, I've got a mixture of apple juice and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And I'm just going to put it in this little pouch here just to keep it moist. And I'm just going to fold it right up over. And I might not have enough thin foil, I might need another piece. Okay, because you need to wrap it tight. Okay? Because if it's not wrapped tight, then all the steam, all the moisture is going to come out of it. So I just need like one more piece. Okay. Got one more piece to go over it. I'm just going to wrap it nice and tight. And I don't want anything to come out. So I'm going to put it back on for about another, uh, it's probably half an hour, 45 minutes, right around there until it comes up to the right temp. And when we come back, it's taco time. Okay, folks, it's been about, uh, about four and a half hours. And uh, it's done. So, uh, best way to do this is you've got this cap on the top and you want some of the meat. I mean, you want some of the fat too. 
but the best thing to do is it'll just separate just like that put a cut down it okay and then we can take that right out of there because I know some of you don't want all the fat so uh, it's four tacos so there we go okay so I mean look at that I mean it's nice tender just comes apart and it's tacos so you don't need it like huge you just need to break it up a bit and then uh, what we're gonna do is put it on the tacos I got some tacos here that's warming okay so we're gonna put it on the tacos dress them and uh, we'll be ready to go okay folks I've already done a couple so uh, I've dressed them so uh, my turn Okay, so what we got is, and this normally goes on El Pastor, well, the pineapple part of it. But what I got a mixture here of pineapple, jalapenos, and uh, onions. Actually, it's red onions because I ran out of white. But uh, anyways, uh, that goes on. And then uh, a little bit of uh, tomatillo salsa. We'll put that on each and uh then of course you need to squeeze a line a little bit uh on each one and uh you need like well you need hot sauce okay and then a little bit of cilantro uh, a little bit of cilantro on each and some just a little drizzle of uh i like cilantro so just a little drizzle of uh, hot sauce and in this case i got uh cholula sauce which again you can get at uh, nostalgia latin market uh you can get it probably at a couple other mexican places but uh Nostalgia Latin Market is the one I use. So, um, here we go. And these are on uh, white corn tortillas, because that's all I had. Hmm. Like... amazing tacos okay now the uh, the pork belly took about four and a half hours and it was like just under uh, 200 degrees only because it sat a little bit and I I left it a couple extra minutes but other than that you saw very tender um, after about three hours or so, I wrapped it, uh, put a little bit of apple juice, apple cider vinegar, wrapped it really tight so it stays all moist, finished it off for about another hour, took it out and cut it. And it just comes, just falls apart. Okay, so I know it took a bit, but, uh, you know, I'm going to put the... Uh, uh, the link in the description for the uh, the rub and everything else and uh, You might think ah uh, Well, maybe it's a tad bit spicy Well, you don't have to use the jalapeno if you don't want to or the Cholula hot sauce if you don't want to but uh, other than that uh, It's Mexican it's tacos and uh, like I said, it took a little bit, but uh, you know, if you're on a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon and uh, you want to put it on, you can put it in your smoker. Now, if you don't have a smoker, you can do it in the oven. Um, you just, you got to cook it for half the time, probably a couple hours. 
Uh, I'll link it in the description and then you're gonna have to cover it up for a couple hours. So you always got to make sure there's juice inside. Make it a tinfoil pouch really tight, two sheets really tight so it keeps all the all the steam in, it keeps it moist. And uh, that's about it. So like I said, I know it took a while but uh, it's worth it. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, uh, hit the like button, and we'll see you later. Take care, stay safe.